Hey guys, so today I'm doing a, a J Lo look. It's been a while since I've done a look. Well, actually, no, because I've done one when she released kind of a buzz single, which was called Same Girl. So make sure to check it out here or here. It was a beautiful, glamorous, red lippy look. But today I decided to recreate, I don't know if there's gonna be an official music video for this single, because I think she's just putting out um, like a snippet of song that she's going to release on her album. So this song has a little snippet video on the official Jennifer Lopez Vivo channel on YouTube. And the song is called Booty. And this look is very, very 80s. You have like this kind of um, brownish uh, lip with a very deep cut crease, black cut crease may I add. So I decided to recreate it because I love JLo. She doesn't get old for me. But anyways, enough talking if you're interested in learning how to do it well keep on watching and i mean do it i mean this look not like <laughs> do it girl i'm starting off with my transition color and this color is from mac and it's called arena it is a beautiful warmish uh, medium brown and the more you apply the more it will get intense it's one of my favorite colors of all time i've used it in my past videos also so make sure to check it out Then I'm doing my strange face wherever I get lost doing my makeup. I'm now applying Copper Plate from MAC, which is a taupey gray color, and I'm just intensifying my crease. As you can see, the cut crease is starting to take shape. Now I'm just applying Copper Plate onto my lower lash line, almost all the way in, but not quite. Once that you've applied the color, make sure to blend. You really want to smoke that lower lash line. And after, you want to intensify that crease to the maximum. So I'm taking a matte black color with a very fine blending brush, and I'm just applying it right into my crease. And now I'm moving on to another brush, just so that the colors don't get too muddy. You really want to have a brush to apply the color and another one to blend. Now I'm going back into my Arena eyeshadow and I actually think I took a little bit of bamboo which is a little bit darker than Arena and just warming up the edges of that color where we applied the black and the copper plate. Just mix them together. And then of course, because I blended, I lost a little bit of, in of intensity. So just go back in, apply some more until you have the desired outcome. I'm then going to darken up my lower lash line, but mostly at the root of the lashes, just to make everything stand out a little bit more. Make sure to not apply anything onto the waterline because we'll be applying another product. Now quickly and very, very freely, I'm applying a liquid liner that I'm then going to smoke out with a nice shadow. So don't need to spend too much time on that liner. I just wanted my roots of, well, the roots of my lashes to be extremely dark. And as you can see right here, I'm applying that black eyeshadow right on top and I'm gonna make sure to smoke it out. I don't want any harsh lines cause there aren't sexy girlfriend, okay? I want the color on my lid to pop a little bit more. You see that there's sort of a bare color going on. So I'm applying Naked Pigment right onto the lid quite generously because it's gonna help with blending out that black. So applying and then I'm going to diffuse using a fluffy brush. Now, like I said, in the waterline, we are using another product, and this is the eye coal in the color Fascinating from MAC, which is basically just a white color. I could have used a skin tone color, but I wanted something very, very bright. And then right into my inner corner, I'm using my favorite highlighter ever whenever I'm doing my inner corners, and this is a nylon from MAC. I went a little bit more dramatic with the lashes because you know how I do. So I used the EL123 from NYX, which are very kind of spidery-like. And then I made sure to apply a mascara just so that my natural lashes blend with the falsies. 
Now JLo is known for her glow, so I'm using a blush that has a little bit of shimmer into it. This is called Margin from MAC. And after it has a highlight, of course, you want more of that glow girlfriend. I'm using the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt. The lips are very kind of late 80s, 90s, so I'm using a color from NYX. I believe this is called Spice. I'm not too sure, but it is a very, very kind of brownish terracotta color. So I'm applying it on the outer corners of my lips first. Of course, I'm overdrawing my lips because I want those JLo lips, you know? To add more dimension to your lips, I'm going to use the MAC Lip Liner in the color Naked right into the center of the lips, which is going to make your lips, like I said, look 3D and of course bigger because everyone knows bigger is better. <laughs> And of course, top it up with a gloss, girlfriend. Just a clear gloss. Make those lips kissable. And this completes this 90s JLo look. 90s that's going back to like, you know, this era right now, 2014. So I really enjoyed recreating this look. It was, I loved it when I said, I'm like, I'm recreating that look girlfriend booty booty and that song is one of my favorite on her album so don't forget to check me out on my social media everything would be listed down below such as instagram facebook all of that all of that jazz you can pretty much find me everywhere and it's my username so jean-francois cd so just type it up you'll find me don't forget to thumbs up this video because you know how we do it's the youtube law you know and i'll see you guys very soon bye Lady Gaga rejected me. Okay, let's be honest here. Maybe not Lady Gaga, but something happened months ago that I decided to share with you guys because it might be a good thing or a, a bad thing, but you know what? I'm just gonna share it because I decided to do like a free spirited kind of video. So here's the backstory. So